we are once again at Fat Shark and we're catching up on Vermintide and uh, we're here to talk about the second DLC drop, Dragonfalls. Yes. I don't know a lot about it, so can you tell us a little bit about the, the sort of the concept and scope of this? Well, this is the first time that we actually venture outside of Ubersreich. So this is uh, a new act or I guess chapter in the Vermintide uh, timeline. So this is set after the events in Ubersreich, so yeah. after the events of the main game. And uh, our heroes travel to face an unknown Skaven threat, mm -hmm. uh, a bit away from Ubersreich in the Grey Mountains. And uh, it's all based around a location called Drakenfels mm -hmm. uh, Castle, uh, with it uh, used to be a vampire castle, but there are no vampires there now. So the first uh, DLC that you released was uh, sort of adding an arena mode and then sort of doing that sort of thing, but now you're sort of getting back to the adventure more more uh, more story to drop on the players uh, can you tell us a little bit about sort of the, that approach yeah so definitely we're working we're going back to the more linear levels with uh, s where each level has a story to tell there's an overarching story as well uh, combine combining each of the three levels um, uh, storyline mm. but uh, yeah then there are three levels in the Drakenfels uh, DLC <laughs> <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can say that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so so we in terms of, of, of mechanics and stuff, are you mixing it up in any way? Is there anything that, that's sort of that's new to that's being added to this? Absolutely. We're definitely adding some new twists to to the gameplay. So I think players will really, really, really feel uh, excited about these new maps. Mm. Uh, is is it also sort of a, a little bit uh, like a freedom to sort of step away from Uber Strike and, and do something that's on the side of that, because obviously that is sort of an established part of the lore, and you sort of you're locked into certain locations. Of course, you can have some creative freedom, but here perhaps you sort of get to pick and choose what else you wanted to sort of add to the to the game. Well, it depends. I mean, we haven't, I guess, explored Uberstrike fully. I mean, there are definitely more locations there to explore, mm. but Drakenfels is really an interesting location. There, I it has a basis in, I guess. Probably one of the first adventure uh, s uh, campaigns, I guess, uh, for uh, uh, for Warhammer. It's, uh, it's from one from '92, mm. uh, and it reappears in an adventure book, like a, a novel, uh, later on. So we have a lot of things to go on with the actual location, and it is a really fascinating one. It's uh, uh, an evil castle. <laughs> I guess <laughs> if castles can be evil, this is definitely it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the, so the the castle is a character in its own right. Uh, according to the adventure, yes. Uh, we, I mean, we can't really, uh, I guess, embody all of the things that the first adventure um, really, really set out to do because it <laughs> it can't be done. <laughs> but the, the the castle speaks to the player with like a booming voice. I. Th I yeah, <laughs> more or less, it really, really is, it is focused on killing everyone who gets in there. It's a, a, a mix of monsters and traps, and you name it, Drakenfels has it. Mm. So, um, but for the people who, who've read the lore, uh, definitely the um, uh, the novel, they will recognize some of the locations mm. and uh, uh, some of the story ties in so tie in as well. It's got to be kind of kind of cool to be able to sort of go through all this this stuff, all this Warhammer lore, all these books, all these games, and sort of pick and choose what kind of things fit into your sort of universe, your game, your sort of game, and geographically as well, I guess, because you can have people traveling all around the place. But well, can you tell us a little bit about that process and sort of getting to sort of pick those those locations? I Oh, that's a <laughs> it's it's a I guess a complicated question because the, it really goes a lot of effort into mm. finding a location because you know, we have uh, the whole world to choose from and even if we um, kind of narrow it down to Reichland and the parts around uh, Ubersreich, mm. there's still so much to choose from. So it is partly we want to give players something new, something they haven't seen before, something that we that and that we think can be really really interesting and cool as well and. I can say that Drakenfoss, we, we hit the mark with that one as well. I mean, uh, players will really feel uh, awed, I think, uh, playing it. So in terms of, of the content that's part of this, will you be adding uh, new playable characters or new loot? Or, or how do you... What's the full package, if you will? <laughs> there are uh, three levels here and uh, achievements, of course. Uh, we're uh, looking into um, bringing in... Um, uh, specific loot for this, but uh, no new characters. 
I guess there's no firm release date yet, but is it coming out soon or wh what's the plan? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's about as much as he can say about that. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me.